it seems like an impossible equation. Being strict, partying, yet losing weight. Well, today, let's talk about a mindset that helps you do just that. My name is Hannes, and welcome to Train Nerds. This is week two of my losing 10 kilos mini series. And if there's one thing I want people to get out of this series is that you can have success even with traditional quote unquote failures. You just need to think about the big picture, the long run. I have purposely started this quest in the most difficult time of the year. The summer is really booming here in Sweden. There's partying to be had at every corner and food to be indulged. I want to show myself and you all that it is still possible. Case in point, day two of this quest, we had the biggest party of the year here in my hometown. Number two of the more strict diet on my way to lose the 10 kilos. It also happens to be the biggest party of the year in our hometown. So a lot of grown up protein drinks are going to be consumed today. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to the weight loss, everyone. Let's go. Woo! So how will I succeed in this seemingly impossible mission? I'm taking a chill pill and implementing something called 80-20. And what the hell does that mean? Simply put, it's what you do 80% of the time that will have effect. So if I eat more quote-unquote normal and less unhealthy 80% of the time, the remaining 20% will not dictate the end results. I feel it's a nice compromise that's pretty easy to sustain and most important of all, you don't get unhealthy relationships with eating. Being on extremely strict diets can quickly give you severe guilt when you break it. The more don'ts and rules you have, the more chances of failure you could set up yourself for. Let's take a look at some 80-20 living from this week. Here are some highlights. I'm continuing with my CrossFit pull-ups. A big difference now is that I can do several reps, at least several tries. This was impossible for just a couple weeks ago. I can even do multiple sets and losing weight will only aid me in my pull-up as well. And here's me strapping into the harness, about to pull 210 kilos on the sled. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 man. Powerful. Come on. Come on, man. Nice. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Yes. That was beautiful, man. Thank you, sir. Oh, my. My legs and my ass. For a couple of weeks now, I have been doing crunches, but now I do upwards to 25, 30 crunches. So I thought, why not introduce some uh, weights to it? So I started here with uh, just laying a 10 kilo plate on my stomach and doing crunches. And I managed 15, which I was really proud of. So the next set, I bumped it up to a 15 kilo plate and lo and behold, I did 15 reps on that as well. Super happy with that. Apparently nowadays there's cameras everywhere when you party. So here you go.
crazy. Forgot I held my sunglasses. So this is the day after the epic party. And what is Hannes doing? He's at the gym. We need to keep, keep the habit in front. Not the best workout today, but it's a workout. That's all the matter. That is how legends are made. <laughs> Ugh. Horrible, yet so fun. Other than going to the gym every other day, I'm continuing with taking 10,000 steps per day. I find this highly enjoyable, especially now that summer is here. And here we have what I basically eat two times per day for the majority of a week. And to complement this, I have one or two of these awesome protein shakes to make sure that I get enough protein for my muscles. So this is what I consume uh, roughly about 80% of my week. If we look at an entire year, we have 365 days. 80% of those are 292 days. That leaves 73 days, more than 10 weeks straight of occasions where I can let loose more. And while living by this principle, it is crucial to think about big picture, to look at trends. You can't take day-to-day -day stats to the number. You need to zoom out and see where the trends are going. So let's take a look at my weight from this week. If we look at last week's weigh-in, I was at 132.81. And today I am at 131.76. So that's a little over one kilo down, roughly two pounds. And as we see, I gained some weight due to the partying and being hungover. But then I slowly crawled back and right now the trend is pointing down. Let's see next week if it's a bigger drop down. Oh yeah, it's my nephew's graduation tomorrow. No worries, it will be fine. One trend that keeps on pointing straight upwards is my love for you guys. I'm so happy and honored to have you all here. A special shout out to my wonderful patrons whose support is meaning the world to me. If you want to join in on the fun with the live streams and some upcoming special treats I've planned, head over to the Trainer's Patreon. Whoever you are, whatever journey you're on, you're all welcome here on Train Nerds. And please remember this. You, you are awesome. Oh yeah.